Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Can the 747 fly upside down for a decent amount of time? Yes, this is a pretty odd question that I'll be analysing in today's video, but sometimes you need to have a little bit of fun and switch up the content. Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. In today's video, I hope I can answer this question for you. So can the 747 fly upside down? Well, it's a yes and a no. Long term, the aircraft would most likely not be able to, however in the short term it certainly could if the flying was performed by a skilled pilot, but there's actually more to it. Firstly, a huge issue when flying a 747, or any aircraft for that matter, upside down, is keeping a positive G. Next, it's pilot comfort. Assume while you're attempting to perform this manoeuvre, you are remaining calm and comfortable. I do assure you that you won't be very comfortable for much longer. If you're located in the cockpit or even the cabin, items will fall down on your head. Quite possibly though, not as badly if you're in the cockpit. The next problem is the fuel, water, oil and hydraulic systems. You're going to need these tanks and systems to be inverted and the 747 does not have this. So let's say you somehow do get upside down, your engines would most likely flame out almost immediately. So long term, not so good, but it may give you those few precious seconds to enjoy flying upside down, because the next problem is altitude. You honestly need to analyse how long it's going to take to complete your manoeuvre or partial roll. You will likely lose altitude while performing this, and will need to allow for possible issues while upside down. So when the off chance all does go well for 20 seconds, you can attempt to roll the plane back over and land safely, unless you are feeling lucky and wish to land upside down also. Failure to pick the right altitude may result in you unfortunately coming back down to earth before you were even upside down. In saying all this, in theory, the aircraft would be able to do an aileron roll, and if the pilot was really good and maintained 1G, which is actually possible during this roll, the airframe would in fact be not stressed at all. Finally, without trying to overcomplicate it all, while I feel I may have actually done that, you need to find someone who is willing to lend you a Boeing 747, and then someone who is willing to perform this manoeuvre. But maybe if you're watching this, you might want to actually try this. Before I finish up, congratulations if you've completed this on a flight simulator. Because I know all of you way too well, I know that I receive comments saying that I've done this on Infinite Flight, X-Plane Flight Simulator, or of course the far superior Google Earth Flight Simulator. Anyway, if you want me to explore more crazy things like this, let me know in the comment section below. I do have to admit, this was quite a fun video to make. Thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I do hope to see all of you in the next one. Oh, well,